Hey everybody, Design Ninja here. So you're in Adobe InDesign and you look up at the point size and realize that there's a little parentheses next to your point size number with another number. And you ask yourself, what is this thing? And why is it even there? Well, today we're gonna to talk about that and how to get rid of those pesky little parentheses numbers next to your point size number. So here we are in Adobe InDesign. Let's first of all identify our problem. If I select this text, up in the text field it says 41 points. Then in parentheses it says 22.36 points. Now what this is actually telling us is that this text was originally 41 points but now it's actually 22.36 points. If you're trying to have fine-tuned control over your point sizes, this can obviously be pretty problematic. So let's talk about where this comes from and how to get rid of it. As far as I'm aware, it comes from resizing or rescaling the text box. I have, I have actually seen it from rescaling a text box like this, although right now that's not actually working. However, if we look over in the Pages palette, what we have here is an alternate layout of the first page. So let me show you how I did that. Right now we see that there are no parentheses. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is apply a paragraph style because this is going to come into the discussion here. So I applied a paragraph style. I'm going to create an alternate layout. And down here in the options where it says liquid page rule, if this is set to scale and you change the size to be something other than what it is, click OK. Now let's go to our new alternate layout, select the text. You'll notice we now have the parentheses next to our point size. But something that's a little bit peculiar and odd is that the paragraph style is not giving us a warning that it's any different from our original paragraph style. So if we go back to our original paragraph style and select this text, heading, we'll notice that it's 41 points. But in our new alternate layout, we'll select the same text, the same paragraph style is selected, and yet Right now, this text is actually 14.91 points. It's no longer 41 points. Another way that you might run into this issue is if you use the page tool. So again, there's no parentheses in this text right now, but if we grab the uh, page tool and resize it, first of all, nothing happened. But right here where it says liquid page rule, if we were to turn that to scale and then do the same thing again, it resized the text boxes, we end up with the parentheses. So basically, there are various ways to resize your text boxes. That's where the parentheses come from. So let's talk about how to get rid of them. You might think that you need to select the text to do something. but what I have found, if you grab the selection tool, select the text box that's in question, and then up here in the upper right-hand corner, select this drop-down. You'll see this option, redefine scaling as 100%. So I'm going to do that. Now you'll notice something in the paragraph styles. When I redefine scaling as 100%, it now gives me a warning that my text is out of sync with the paragraph style. If I select the text, I will notice indeed it's 41.794 points instead of 41 points. And so I need to decide from here how I will handle or manage this paragraph style if I want to redefine my text box as 100%. So I can override and go back to my original size by holding down Option and then clicking Heading. Let me undo that. Or I can redefine my style, but if we do that, be aware that that style will change uh, with every iteration of that paragraph style. Or, of course, you can always hold down Option and click Create 
new style and redefine it here. Heading two. So now we have no problems. So once again, let's go to one of our alternate layouts, select this text. We have the parentheses next to our text size. We need to grab the selection tool up in the right hand corner. Redefine scaling as 100% to get rid of the parentheses. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please leave a comment, press like, or of course, subscribe to my channel. See you next time.